compassionate. In him alone we believe, and in him alone we trust. You will soon know who is clearly astray. Say, consider this. Oh, this is the one. This, this is the one I like. Consider this. If your water were to sink into the earth, then who else could bring you flowing water? This whole surah was basically saying, you can deny there's a God all you want, but take away the fruit from the earth. If, if we were to salt the entire earth tomorrow and no crops were to grow from it, if the fresh water were to salt up, Immediately, immediately. Where is it? Find it. 21? 21 to 30. Specifically. I need specifics. I'll Google it. Surah 21 verse, oh, I got 30. Okay. I can't wait. I cannot wait. 21, I have 30. So, Al Anbia. Anbia? Let me know who wants to learn Arabic with me for, on Duolingo or be my friend on Duolingo. I'm downloading that today to start learning Arabic. 
Because I tried learning just like through reading it. And I can't. I can't. I have to. I have. I need something else. I need like. I need an app to teach me. So let me know if y'all want to be my friend on Duolingo and help help or learn Arabic with me for those who are learning Arabic as well. Because I heard you can't get the full effect of the Quran or you can't understand the Quran in its entirety even with the best of translation because Arabic is so multi-meaning like words have multiple meanings and until you can study that until you can study Arabic you can't really study the Quran in its entirety like you can get a basic understanding through translation but you're never going to get the full impact of the Quran unless you know Arabic so I'm going to learn Arabic. Okay, here's 2130. Do the disbelievers not realize that the heavens and earth were once one mass? Then we split them apart. And we created from water every living thing. Will they not then believe? It sure is in here. Heavens and earth were once one mass. Nineteen twenty seven. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Not until nineteen twenty seven. I know that's right. I know that's right. Mm. Mm. Praise be to Allah. Mm-mm. What y'all say? Mashallah. Mashallah. Or Mashallah. Mm. I know that's right. I got to take a moment. 1927. And this was written 1400 years ago. I know that's right. <laughs> Amazing. Phenomenal. I'm reading from the uh, clear Quran. Somebody just asked. What y'all say? Hold on. Subhan. Subhanala. Subhanala. Or supanala. Supanala. Ah yes. I feel it. I, I feel the blessing behind that statement. Subhanallah. Yes. It's it just it's just on the tongue. It's 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 so pleasing. It's so pleasing. Oh, it says glory be to God. That's what it means. Glory be to God. Ooh. I like that. Subhanallah. That's the thing. That's the thing. Arabic is so romantic. Let a man walk up on me and or walk up on me in the street say anything in Arabic. He's my husband. That, that day. Guaranteed. <laughs> Listen. Listen. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Any other any other uh recommendations for Suda? I'm not BSing on that one. <laughs> yes, I'm going to learn Arabic. Abia? Did someone say Abia? I don't think we've read Abia yet. Have we? I don't think we have. Sorry, y'all, that's my ice maker. 
I don't know if y'all could hear it, but just in case. I don't see Abia. What Sura is that? Yasin. I th didn't we already read? Didn't we already read Yasin? Or did we read part of Yasin? I think we read one of these we read half of because it was like a hundred and something ayas. And so we read half of it. I'm I just know you I just know still to this day, Yusuf is my favorite one. And I've read I've probably read twelve surahs so far. Yusuf is still my favorite one. That that one makes me cry every single time. I've read it like twice. It makes me cry at least three to four times every single time. Rahman. I think we listened to Rahman's... Uh, I think we listened to Al Rahman's um, recitation. I don't know why I did this. Recitation? But I don't think I read it live yet. But that seems to be, Ar, uh, Ar Rahman seems to be a favorite of everybody's too. What is Ar, uh, Ar Rahman's? What is it translation to, or what does it translate to? Let me go back to the other screen. Seventy. No, it's fifty-five. The beneficent. Beneficent, but Be yeah, benefit the the beneficent. Who's that, I wonder? Let's find out. The mo I could have sworn I got rid of y'all. Let me mute. This is my other book club. I would never say got rid of y'all for the World Religious Book Club. This is my, this is my heathens. <laughs> this is my other book club, the Romance Book Club. Lord, let me tell you. I've had that book club for over a year now. They're just <laughs> a crazy bunch. Um, okay. The most compassionate taught the Quran, created humanity, and taught them speech. The sun and the moon travel with precision. The stars and the trees bow down in submission. As for the sky, you raised it high and set the balance of justice so that you do not defraud the scales. Weigh with justice and do not give short measure. He laid out the earth for all beings. In it are fruit, palm trees, and date stalks, and grain with husks and aromatic plants. Then which of your Lord's favors will you humans and jinn both deny? Wait, we read this? We read this. We read all of this. Because I said it was like a answer, a, a, a question answer type thing, or... Uh, question response type thing because after each one it's um then which of your lord's favors will you both deny that happens like after each one so since we already read this twice because i read it out loud and we did the recitation i'll take another and we read mariam as well anmal we read that one? Nam Nama? Anama? We read this one too. De I've read a lot. Dang. Oh, 
Oh, this one I might have read on my own. Hold on. I don't think I read this on live. Nope, I haven't read this on live. Okay, we'll read this one. Tashin, these are the verses of the Quran, the clear book. It is a guide and good news for the believers. Those who establish prayer pay alms tax and have sure faith in the hereafter. As for those who do not believe in the hereafter, we have certainly made their evil deeds appealing to them, so they wander blindly. It is they who will suffer a dreadful torment, and in the hereafter they will truly be the, great lose, the greatest losers. And indeed, you, O Prophet, are receiving the Quran from the one who is all-wise, all-knowing. Remember when Moses said to his family, I have spotted a fire. I will either bring you some directions from there or a burning torch so you may warm yourselves. But when he came to it, he was called by Allah. Blessed is the one at the fire and whoever is around it. Glory, to, glory be to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. O Moses, it is truly I. I am Allah, the Almighty, all wise. Now throw down your staff. But when he saw it slithering like a snake, he ran away without looking back. Allah reassured him, O Moses, do not be afraid. Messengers should have no fear in my presence. Fear is only for those who do wrong. But if they later mend their evil ways with good, then I am certainly all forgiving, most merciful. How do you mend your evil ways with good? Like, how do you know, how do you know what mends it? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you know how much good mends the evil that you've done? You know what I mean? Oh, it means to not do bad things anymore. Oh, repent. That makes sense. I also have a question. I'm sorry if I'm taking a break, but I also have a question. I heard that fasting is a good deed. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Why is fasting a good deed? Discipline? One of them. Clean mind? Purify your heart? Clear the soul and body? All of that is actually scientifically true, too. Like, fasting? It's, like, linked to, like... It could even, like, reduce cancer tumors and everything. Like, it does a whole bunch. I intermittent fast. This week I haven't been doing really really good at it, but most of the time I'll I'll stop eating at like six and I won't eat till the next day till like three PM. Everybody keeps saying I look like this speed man. Like his, his name is Speed. Stop saying that. <laughs> I looked at him. My eyes look the same, but everything else looks different. Don't say that. Okay, so Ramadan, I, that's, that's when you fast for, is it 40 days? Or, or it's like March 10th to April 19th or something? And 30? 30 days. So it's, Mar it's March 10th to April 9th or 10th. And that's when you fast from sun, from dawn to dusk? Is that what it is? Oh, every year it's different? Sunrise to sunset. Oh, that's not hard at all. Sunrise to sunset? Now that I'm used to intermittent fasting, I could do that. I could do sunrise to sunset. For 30 days? Deal. Oh, that was good timing. Whoever did the cap, thanks. That's it deal it's like <laughs> okay so now put your hand through the opening of your collar it will come out shining white unblemished these are two of nine signs for pharaoh and his people 
they have truly been rebellious people. I find it interesting because, like, in the book of the book of Moses, or, or when they were talking about Musa in another book, it said, "Put your hand under your arm, and it'll come out glowing white." And then this one said, "Now put your hand through the opening of your collar." and it will come out shining white and unblemished. So that also is in indicative of Arabic meaning more than one thing. Because it seems like it was translated one way in one part of the Quran, and then it was translated another way in another part. I'm beginning to understand. I know I seem ditzy sometimes, but I'm smart. I'm smart, guys. These are two of the nine signs of, for Pharaoh and his people. They have truly been a rebellious people. But when our enlightening signs came to them, they said, this is pure magic. And although their hearts were convinced the signs were true, they still denied them wrongfully and arrogantly. See then what was the end of of the corruptors. Indeed, we granted knowledge to David and Solomon, and they said in acknowledgement all praises for Allah who has privileged us over many of his faithful servants. And David was succeeded by Solomon, who said, O people, we have been taught the language of birds and been given everything we need. This is indeed a great privilege. Solomon's forces of jinn, humans, and birds were rallied for him perfectly organized. Yeah. What? <laughs> Jim rallied behind Solomon? Yes. I can't wait to read more about the Jin because that's new. You know, even as even me having read as much of the Bible as I've read, and I also dabbled a little bit in the Torah, like read a little bit of the Torah. This is still the first time I've read of Jin. This is interesting. Why do y'all not have like popcorn? When you like read this, it's so interesting. And when they came across a valley of ants, an ant warned, oh ants, go quickly into your home so Solomon and his army, armies do not crush you unknowingly. I love to think that ants can talk like that. I bet they do. Like, they're so organized. So Solomon smiled in amusement at her words and prayed, My Lord, inspire me to always be thankful for your favors, which you... Did I skip something? So Solomon smiled in amusement at her words. Who's her? The aunt. Oh, the ant? Oh. oh! Oh, this is cute! This is cute! Oh! So Solomon smiled in amusement at her words and prayed, My Lord, inspire me to always be thankful for your favors, which you have blessed me and my parents with, and, do, and to do good deeds that please you. Admit me by your mercy into the company of your righteous servants. One day he inspected the birds and wondered, Why is it that I cannot see the... Pupo, or could he be absent? I will surely sub subject him to a severe punishment or even slaughter him unless he brings me a compelling excuse. It was not long before the bird came and said, I have found out something you do not know. I have just come to you from Sheba with sure news. Indeed, I found a woman ruling over them who has been given everything she, everything she needs and who has a magnificent throne. The Queen of Sheba is known in, in Islamic tradition as Bilkis, or Bilkis. I know the story. Okay, this came up in the book club. That's the thing. I'll have these lives, and then there will be lives in the book club where Muslims of the group as well speak on these stories to offer further clarification. And I learn a lot. I learn a lot from those. I like I like it. I like those. 
So I learned about the story in the book club. I can't wait to actually like read it though. I found her and her people prostrating to the sun instead of Allah, for Satan has made their deeds appealing to them, hindering them from the right way and leaving them unguided. So they do not prostrate to Allah, who brings forth what is hidden in the heavens and the earth and knows what you all conceal and what you reveal. He is Allah. There is no God worthy of worship, worship except him, the Lord of the mighty throne. Solomon said, We will see whether you are telling the truth or lying. Go with this letter of mine and deliver it to them. Then stand aside and see how they will respond. The queen later announced, O chiefs, indeed a noble letter has been delivered to me. It is from Solomon and reads, In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. Do not be arrogant with me, but come to me, fully submitting to Allah. She said, O chiefs, advise me in this matter of mine, for I would never make any decision without you. They responded, We are people of strength and great military might, but the decision is yours, so decide what you will command. She reasoned, Indeed, when kings invade a land, they ruin it and debase it and debase its nobles. They really do so. But I will certainly send him a gift and see what response my envoys will return with. When the There's a note here, sorry. She wanted to test Solomon to see if he was only a king so he would be satisfied with a tribute or a prophet who would only settle with submission to the true God. See, that's why notes are so important because with that initial, but I will certainly send him a gift and see what response my envoys will return with, I wouldn't have gotten that additional context. So that's why I also recommend the Clear Quran for those of you who are who don't know Arabic yet and who are just looking for understanding. This, is, this has been a very easy one to understand because it has the extra cliff notes or the footnotes with it. When the chief envoy came to him, Solomon said, Do you offer me wealth? What Allah has granted me is far greater than what he has granted you. No, it is you who rejoice in receiving gifts. Go back to them, for we will certainly mobilize against them forces which they can never resist, and we will drive them out from their from there in disgrace, fully humbled. The note says if they refuse to submit. So they're not just going to do that on a whim. Like this is if they refuse to submit to Allah. Solomon asked, O oh chiefs, which of you can bring me her throne before they come to me in full submission? To explain why pr- this is not... Uh, this is a note. To explain why Prophet Solomon brought the queen's magnificent throne and built the mar- marvelous palace, many traditional commentators cite some folkloric or legendary stories. However, none of these stories is supported by reliable Islamic sources. One mighty jinn responded, I can bring it to you before you rise from this council of yours, and I'm quite strong and trustworthy for this task. But the one who had knowledge of the scripture said, I can bring it to you in the blink of an eye. So when Solomon saw it placed before him, he exclaimed, This is by the grace of my Lord to test me whether I am grateful or ungrateful. And whoever is grateful, it is only for their own good. But whoever is ungrateful, surely my Lord is self-sufficient, most generous. Then Solomon said, Disguise her throne for her for her so we may see whether she will recognize it or she will not be able to so when she arrived it was said to her is your throne like this she replied it looks to be the same we have already received knowledge of Solomon's prophethood before this miracle and have submitted to Allah Oh, because she because he had refused her tribute. But she had been hindered by what she used to worship instead of Allah, for she was indeed from a disbelieving people. Then she was told, enter the palace. But when she saw the hall, she thought it was a body of water, so she bared her legs. Solomon said, it is just a palace paved with crystal. At last, she declared, my Lord, I have certainly wronged my soul. Now I fully submit myself along with Solomon to Allah, the Lord of all worlds.
Why did that make her submit? The, um, the crystal underneath the water. I skipped? Uh-uh. No, I didn't. The crystal looked like water? I skipped the miracle. I, I, I read all of it. Maybe this, maybe it was skipped in here, in this version. But she had hindered by what she used to worship instead of Allah. Then she was told, enter the palace. But when she saw the hall, she thought it was a body of water. So she bared her legs. Solomon said, it is just a palace paved with crystal. Wrong. At last she declared, my Lord, I have certainly wronged my soul. Now I fully submit myself along with Solomon to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. We certainly sent to the people of Thamud, their brother Sal Sali, proclaiming worship Allah, but they suddenly split into two opposing groups. So the, they split into the believers and disbelievers among the Thamud and their brother Sali. He urged the disbelieving group, O oh my people, why do you seek to hasten torment rather than grace? If only you sought Allah's forgiveness so you may be shown mercy. They replied, you and your followers are a bad omen for us. He responded, your omens are destined by Allah. In fact, you are only a people being tested. And there were in the city nine elite men who spread corruption in the land, never doing what is right. Ooh. Does that not remind you of what's happening now? A whole people being tested because of elite or world leaders not doing what's right, doing corrupt things. And therefore creating trials and tribulations for people just saying just saying they vowed ooh I'm sorry y'all it's like a crook in my neck um they vowed let us swear by Allah that we will take him and his family down him and his family down by night then we I gotta hook up my hook up my charger or else my phone is gonna die we don't want that do we no we don't especially since we have 10 minutes left before this is done okay well it's supposed to be 10 minutes but I'll finish this surah I don't like leaving things unfinished. Um, they vowed, let us, swear, uh, let us swear by Allah that we will take him and his family down by night. Then we will certainly say to his closest heirs, we did not witness the murder of his family. We are definitely telling the truth. And so they made a plan, but we too made a plan while they were unaware. See then what the consequences of their plan were. We utterly destroyed them and their people altogether. So their homes are there, but completely ruined because of their wrongdoing. Surely in, in this is a lesson for people of knowledge. And we delivered those who were faithful and were mindful of Allah. And remember Lot when he rebuked the men of his people do you commit the shameful deed while you can see what while you can see one another? Do you really lust after men instead of women? In fact, you are only a people acting ignorantly. But his people's only response was to say, expel Lot's followers from your land. They are a people who wish to remain chaste. So he delivered him and his family, except his wife. <laughs> who 
who's keeping count? <laughs> who's keeping count of the beef of Lot's wife? Who's been in, ooh, I just poked myself in the eye. Who's, who's been in all these lives? <laughs> How many times did accept his wife come up? I'm telling you, Allah and the angels have so much beef with, with Lut's wife. These people do not it's give personal. up. It's personal. It is personal. So we do 